Good evening. I'm here to talk about some twin flame movements, some energies that are happening for twin flame collectively. There's a lot going on. I feel like union is near for a whole lot of people. I don't talk about twin flames too often. I do general readings for general people, <laughs> but um, I just like to protect my relationship. But I'm told by spirit to come on here and talk about twin flames, so I will do so. Obey. So I'm going to draw some of my uh, romance angels and get a messages and draw some other cards to go with that. So this is for the Twin Flame Collective. What is going on between our counterparts and ourself regarding to union? What we need to know. Spirit, angels, ancestors come through. Love, light, clarity, peace. Manifestations in abundance. I'll do three cards. One more card. Spirit, angels, ancestors. Okay. The first card is soulmate. That's a beautiful card, a beautiful sign, a beautiful message for the twin flame collectively. It says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is confirmation if you needed it. I need it from time to time. I feel crazy. This is a crazy journey. This is a crazy experience. This is like a phenomenon. Having a twin flame is something that doesn't happen to everyone. You know, it's a harder journey. It's all a journey of love and healing, intensive healing. And I have make the effort for my next card. It says, great love is worth taking the steps guided, you're guided to take. So this is telling us to do the work. Take those steps. This is a process, you know. This is going to help us lead to union with our twin flame. It's going to bring us into harmony. So you need to make the effort. I know you're tired. I'm tired. It gets worried. It gets crazy. You think you're going crazy, but make the effort. Stay on course. Stay on your path. Keep loving yourself. Keep working on yourself. Regardless if you're in separation or not. You know, the work you do for yourself, you do for your twin. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And this is a biggie. You know, with that twin flame connection, you know, uh, with our counterparts, we do a whole lot of work. <laughs> we're very patient. We're very loving. We're very kind. Come on already. You know, we get frustrated and want to give up. You know, our vibration gets lower because we want to take control over the situation. It is going to happen the way it's going to happen. This is divine union. You know, this is something that we agreed to do before we even got to this planet. We begin with this person many lifetimes, many universes. This is our person. Nothing changes that. If you truly believe that you're with your twin flame, understand it's going to work out. But it's going to work out in God's timing. A lot of things don't happen because we're not ready for them. You have to seriously look at yourself, look at your situation, and see, you know, if your twin showed up to your door right now at this very moment tonight, right now, are you ready? You know, you can't expect him to be ready or her to be ready, your other counterpart, if you're not even ready yourself. Do the work, you know. Take this time to heal. Take this time to get your life straight, get yourself straight. You know, we want a perfect union and we want it to last. We don't want, we want the final destination, us to be together. So, you know, you need to really do the work, really be ready, really be accepting, and stop putting so much pressure on your twin, you know. Let go of these control issues. Understand that they have their own path. They have their own journey. They have their own issues they're working through. They have their own healing. Nobody could tell you how to go through your path, how to heal, what to heal, how fast to heal it. They're coming. Be patient. Let things work out in divine timing. Go with the flow. Relax. The moment we relax and start taking care of ourselves, that's when magic will happen. Expect miracles. So I'm going to draw from my... Um, Angel Answers decks and see if there's a message for us as twin flames. I'm the female counterpart, so I can relate on doing a whole lot of work. <laughs> so let's see what cards want to come forward. Thank you. One more, please. I have two cards. The first one is Improving Health. And I also have The Situation Will Improve. So let's look at the book and see what it says. The first one is Improving Health. So, you know, there may be something we need to work on. Like I said, we might not be ready for this. Get yourself ready, though. You know, this is the opportunity to get ready. If you're not ready, get ready. 
So improving health, it says, the angels want you to know that your health of the person you ask about is going to improve. Maybe yourself, maybe your twin. You're, you can request assistance from Archangel Raphael and your guardian angels will speed along the recovery. This card also may be urging you to make more healthful choices in your life. If you're feeling... If you're feeling called to detox from harmful foods or substances, you should follow that guidance. Removing unhealthy practices from your life will make you feel vibrant and strong. Like I said, we have to get ready. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's a sickness. It could be, you know, unhealthy things we do, overeating, you know. It could be smoking. It could be drinking. We need to make sure we're 100. You know, this is a perfect union orchestrated by God so you know we want to understand that we are a vessel for God all of us mom so, you know when we do healing is mind body soul and spirit it's a combination of it all you know we need to get right get healthy and I also have the situation will improve so let's see what that says also so this is telling us right off the back that you know no need to worry the situation is proven things are working out whether we know it or not you know, you just have to trust the process, trust in spirit, trust in yourself, you know, trust in your twin. Your twin is you. You don't trust yourself? That's the question. So the book says, your angels want you to know that they are aware that things look difficult right now. However, the situation is going to improve. It may take some time and there will most likely be some hard work ahead of you. But the effort you put forth but the effort you put forth will be worth it, and things are going to get better. Now, it's not the time to give up on the wounded friendship or alien relationships. This is still hope for the future. Take heart and continue to work toward a partnership where both parties are fulfilled and happy in the future. So this is telling you things are going to work out. Keep the faith. Keep hope. Keep trusting. You know, things may not be what we want them to be. That's that release and control once again. Things are working in divine timing. Not our timing, but divine timing. You know, go with the flow, relax. In this time, work on yourself. You know, we want to be a complete whole package. We want them to be complete and whole. Why can't we be complete and whole our damn selves? We don't want them to come back raggedy, and we don't want them to come to us raggedy. Do the work. Do what's needed. Understand that things are working out for us. You know, don't give up. Yes, you're tired. Yes, you're wounded. Yes, you feel defeated at times. But this is when you need to raise your vibration even higher. You know, everything is working out to your benefit. You are so loved. God, you know, the universe, God, spirit, source loves you. Your angels love you. Things are working out for your benefit. They feel your pain. They know you've been working hard, but don't give up. The end is in sight. There will be union. I'm going to draw also from my um, Cal Gray, the Angel Guide Oracle Cards. I'm going to get one card. Angels, Holy Spirit, my ancestors. Let this relate to the reading, to the Twin Flame Connection. Give me a card that's going to resonate what we need to know right now in this hour. A lot of us are tired. <laughs> Thank you. I have strength and guidance. So let's see what the message is for this card. This is the Strength and Guidance card. It looks like he's holding the universe in his hands. And you also see that the forehead is lit up in the center. So that's your third eye. So that's foresight. You know, that's your guidance also. So let's see what the card says. I'm going to look at the book. It says, don't underestimate the power of your soul. You are a strong and resilient soul with the capacity to rise above any challenge. Divine intervention is taking place at this time. Whatever is occurring in your life is providing a real learning curve for your soul. You're becoming more and more aware of what will lead you to fulfill your purpose and what will divert you from joy. Your angel guide is encouraging you to recognize that the feelings that are coming to you now are guidance that will help you understand the steps it takes steps that you need to take and the moves that you need to make in order to be aligned with abundant and support. Angels are encouraging you to dig deep and hold your station. Hold your station. You're almost there. If you're wondering what the next step is, knowing that this is, this is going to be revealed to you in due course. Don't change your plans or your visions or your goals for anyone. This is not the time to take drastic action, but remain committed and strong. Keep up the good work. Angels are encouraging you to recognize the power of your prayers and intentions at this time. 
recognize too that angels are with you and willing to guide you on your journey. The universe itself is within you. If you trust in it, you will draw down the power of the cosmos and the right steps will be revealed in such a way that it will be effortlessly for you to take them. Note that it's not your job or duty to know everything that's unfolding, just to take one step at a time until the solution and outcome are revealed. Have faith, positive things are happening. So once again, hold your station, stay positive. You know, some things are not for us to know. But that's where that trust and that love in the universe and God's source spirit comes in. You know, we're almost there. Just do your part. Just do your work and let the universe do its job. You know, like I said, it's happening. It's all about you being patient. You know, you want union to do the work for union. You know, we all have healing to do. We all have work to do. We have a big job to do as a couple. Heal the planet going to take some work. It's going to take some healing on our own part. So this is um, what card is it? I'm sorry. This is my love and light angel deck. I'm going to get some divine messages from that. I'm going to wrap this up. I said the gift of love and light. It says no one lights a, a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides it under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. So this is the gift of love and light that we have in ourselves. This is what spirit gives us. This is what our angels give us. This is our job. Like I said, this is our job to share that with the world. We are giving them a gift of love and light that was given to us. Raise the vibrations of the planet. Do your work. And I also have give peace a chance. I am loving. Sorry, I am leaving you a gift. Peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. So this is what God is giving you. This is what the universe is providing you with, a gift of peace. Give it a chance to work. You know, that can provide, God's source, the universe can provide so much peace for you that, you know, it will heal you, it will guide you, it will protect you, it will make you feel better along this course. So I'm just going to draw one of my um, crystal wisdom cards. Um, these oracle cards do have crystals on them pictures of crystals so there's a crystal we can connect with in our journey right now at this time that will help us heal us sorry <laughs> cards going anywhere help us heal us give us some empowerment you know this crystal is going to have healing properties and give us meaning so spirit angel ancestors let this card resonate with the collective this twin flame journey give us a crystal card a crystal that we need right now just one please make it clear I'm a hot mess with this. <laughs> so whatever card it is, let it please hit my table. What do we need right now, Spirit? Let it hit the table. No, I'm going to have to let it hit the table. There we go. Looks like tiger's eye, yes. And it's courage. And that's that beautiful tiger's eye. I do have it right here. I love my tiger's eye. It's very beneficial. It has a lot of healing properties. It says courage. I am courageous. And this energy supports me throughout my life. So let's be courageous. Let's be bold. You know, it takes courage to be on this journey. It takes courage to speak our hearts. It takes courage to be different. You know, this is a journey, like I said, many don't understand. It takes a lot of courage to be on this journey. So let's draw one more card. And what? I'm not sure what I want. I think I'm going to try my um, star seed for a final message. I apologize for that. So, my star seed cards for a final message for my Twin Flame Collective. So, this is just my encouragement. Stay on course, guys. It's hard. It's difficult. Stay on course. Understand things are working out. This is our chance to heal and get better. One more light. I mean, one more light. One more card, please. Spirit, give me a card we need to know. Thank you. Okay, it says Blue Star. It says, follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. So we need to follow our light that's within us. And I have Gaia. It says, connect with the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. So there is a time of change coming. You know, connect more. We might need to get grounded. Connect with that Mother Earth Gaia energy. So these are just messages. I hope this gives you some type of peace and calm and some answers that you need. I'm going to draw one more. I'm sorry. This is called Divine Doors. So this is a message from my Divine Doors for this Twin Flame Connection. 
spirit, angels, ancestors, please let this card be what we need to hear. Our final last message for this reading. Please let it resonate for me and the collective and anybody else watching this video. Thank you so much, spirit, angel, ancestors. One more card, please. Let the message resonate. Ooh, that card's going everywhere. One more. So, what do we need to know? Okay, two. Okay, the first card says, Silent Skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation, grace. The soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out. Let go of doubt. So this is a beautiful message. Don't doubt this connection. Don't doubt it at all. If it's really for you, it will happen. This is a divine orchestrated connection. No one can interrupt it. Nothing can stop it from happening. And I have destiny. It says one door closes, another door opens. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. So this is telling you this is destiny. This union is destiny. You're supposed to be with this person, but you have to be patient and let things happen in you know, divine timing, divine order, divine sequence. Things happen for a reason. Everything has a purpose. So be, you know, just stay on course. Stay in station. Hold your station, rather. Things are working out for you. I hope this gives you some type of peace. I hope it gives you some type of clarity, some type of relief. I feel better. Continue to raise your vibrations. Be the love. You know, understand that even though we love our twin, everything that we need from them, we can give to ourselves. Understand that. Come as a complete whole soul to them understand we don't need validation we validate ourselves we are the love that we want it's all within us so i hope these messages ring true i hope everyone has a beautiful day i love you guys keep on your twin flame journey i know it's hard i know it's difficult i know you're tired you want to give up but just hold on things are happening work on yourself love on yourself heal yourself thank you so much and have a great night